The roll cameras, please. Speed. Yep, good. Uh, this is Allie, scene one, take one. Mark. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really special one because I'm filming today at the YouTube space in LA. So the set that I'm on today is supposed to be a haunted hotel set. So we tried to make it as light and bright as we could and I'm really happy with it. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys a really simple DIY frame tutorial. And this is what the frame looks like. And I really like this type of frame, one, because it's actually reusable. So I've seen these before in antique stores, but they're glued to the actual piece of art, so you can't change up your art very easily or at all, really. Um, but with these, I'm going to show you guys how you can use magnets to make them really easy to change, and that also makes them easy to move with. So here's what you're going to need. I just got this at my local hardware store and what's great about it is that you can actually cut it down yourself in store. This is awesome because it means you don't need power tools at your house to do this project and you only end up paying for the material that you actually need. So they come in really big pieces but you can cut them down as big or as small as you want and then only pay for the portion that you take home. Another optional tool you could use, but it's totally not necessary, is a drill. And the reason you would use a drill is to make little holes in the wood to drop your glue and your magnets into. And this way, everything will be completely flush and flat. But again, it's not totally necessary. You're not gonna be looking at your frames from the side anyway, so it's an optional step, and I thought I would throw that out there. So the first thing I'm going to do to make sure my frames look really finished is sand down the edges. So when you cut these yourself in the store, the wood's really thin so it's going to splinter and potentially not be completely straight. So to fix this, you're going to just need a little piece of sandpaper and sand it down. And I don't really have a technique with this. I could be totally doing this the wrong way, but it works. Perfect. Now that I've made a complete mess, let's move on. I'm using Gorilla Glue just because it's what I had on hand, but the thing about Gorilla Glue is that you're gonna have to let it sit for a couple hours, I think at least five hours before you actually hang up your project. So just keep that in mind. So the thing that I do that I think makes this a lot easier is I put my magnets together so that I'm not accidentally gluing them in the wrong direction. So I'm just gonna set two right here and then two more on the other side and then get ready to glue. And with this stuff, a little really goes a long way. Okay, so I have my little bit of glue and now I'm just gonna drop my magnets right there. I'm trying to be really careful about not letting my pieces get too close together because since the glue is still really wet, the magnets are gonna just jump off. So what I'm doing is I have the two magnets together on one piece and here too and I'm going to then put a little tiny bit of glue on the top of the magnet and take my back piece and let it dry like this, sandwiched together. And then when the glue is completely dry, you'll be able to easily pull them apart and then put your picture in there. This is an example of one where I just took a little bit of twine and threaded it around the first piece and then put some beads on top. And that's a really easy way to hang it, again, because you can change it out if you want to, depending on your decor. And then the other thing you can do is get these little eye hooks. So again, I just got these in my local hardware store. They're really tiny, so they're really easy to thread twine onto. And again, you can use beads or any kind of twine or ribbon to hang it with this. These are great for people that live in dorm rooms or travel a lot because they're really easy to move with and I really love the simple elegance they bring to any space. Do you guys wanna see a pom-pom tutorial of the pom-poms that are usually in the back of my videos or maybe another wall tapestry tutorial? Let me know in the comments. And also, thank you to McCall and Brett and Andrew for crewing my video today. Be sure to check out their channels. I'll have them all linked in the description. We all worked on each other's videos and it's been really fun. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.